This is Devin. Devin lives in a magic meadow. He walks to school and picks a few wild blueberries to eat. Devin picks four blueberries and then suddenly, what's this? He gets a big surprise and encounters a wizard. The wizard offers to magically increase Devin's blueberries. Specifically, she will double them and then add three. Should we believe the wizard? Yes. We know her intentions from her expression, 2x plus 3. Devin throws his blueberries in the air and the wizard fires lightning at them. Just like her expression said, first the blueberries get multiplied by 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And then 3 gets added. 8 plus 3 is 11. That's the order of magical operations. And it means that Devin gets 11 blueberries back from the wizard. That night, as Devin is sleeping soundly in his cabin, he has a dream about a delicious blueberry tart made from 27 blueberries. He wonders, how many blueberries will he have to bring the wizard in order to get back 27? The wizard's expression is 2x plus 3. Devin starts guessing. How about 7 blueberries? Nope, the wizard will only return 17. How about 10? Dream on, Devin. That only returns 23. Is there a better way? Absolutely. We can crack this question by writing an equation. We want to know what x makes 2x plus 3 equal 27. Devin wakes up ready to solve the equation. All he has to do is reverse the magic from 27 in order to find x. The wizard's expression multiplies by 2, then adds 3. To reverse the magic, first we subtract 3, so 2x equals 24. Then we divide by 2, x equals 12. Devin needs 12 blueberries if he wants the wizard to return 27. Devin collects 12 blueberries, and right on cue, here comes the wizard. And now, for the moment of truth. Did Devin reverse the operations and solve his equation correctly? Devin tosses his blueberries in the air, and the wizard performs her magic operations, evaluating the expression for a value of 12. 2 times 12 is 24, and 24 plus 3 is 27, just like Devin was hoping. He has a delicious blueberry tart after dinner that evening. That night, Devin is restless and walks out into the moonlight. He has a vision of a giant blueberry tart made from 70 blueberries and a different wizard who uses the magical rule 5x minus 10. He guesses and evaluates a couple x values, but why do that? Instead, he can answer his question by creating the equation 5x minus 10 equals 70. As always, solving this equation just means reversing the magic. The expression multiplies by 5, then subtracts 10. So first, we will add 10. Then we will divide by 5. So x equals 16. And this wizard shows up. Devin tosses 16 blueberries into the air, and whoa, the moonlight has given Devin magic powers. He fires his night lightning and evaluates the expression for an x value of 16. The expression returns him 70 blueberries as he had hoped. He makes a giant blueberry tart and shares it with the wizard. Remember, we use order of operations to evaluate expressions, and we reverse operations to solve equations. But wait, where did Devin get those 16 blueberries from? Was this giant blueberry tart just a midsummer night's dream?